This is the first wedding I've performed on dry land, but since we're only a few feet from water, it ought to be legal. It ought to be. <laughs> Don't worry. If not, we've got a few lawyers here in the room, so I'm sure that they'll take care of it. <laughs> is there anyone who knows any reason why I should not marry this woman? Shouldn't Ellie be the one asking that question? <laughs> Speak now or forever hold your tongue. Come on. Well, apparently there's no objection, so I'm going to proceed. <laughs> Marriage is often referred to as the sea of matrimony. And as everybody here knows, both Kirk and Ellie have been on the sea of matrimony before. Oh. And uh, they're looking for smoother sailing this go around. And I think that they're going to have it because they're more experienced sailors now. In fact, they even made a trial voyage this past year or so. Now you know why they call him Wendy. Well, <laughs> okay. But the point is that Ellie and Kirk have had time to chart their course, to see if they're sure about riding the waves together. And now they're ready to commit to a lifetime voyage. So the best advice that I could give to them is that if you have to jump ship, hold hands on the way and make sure that you get into the same lifeboat. <laughs> and don't hesitate to ask any of the good people in this room here to throw you a lifeline if you need it. <laughs> now, is there anyone here who's gonna give the bride well, away? Well, I was going to, but uh, for a little consultation with my family, <laughs> we've kind of decided we like Ellie an awful lot. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of uh, giving her away, uh, I think I'll just welcome Kirk into the family. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now, Kirk, would you like to marry Ellie? I would. And do you promise to be good to her? To make her welfare as important to you as your own? I will. <laughs> Ellie, would you like to marry Kirk? I would. <laughs> and you promise to be good to him, to make his welfare as important to you as your own? I will. <laughs> is there anything that you two would like to say to one another? Actually, there is. Oh. Ellie, mm -hmm. I promise to take care of you as long as you need it. I promise to try to always let you be yourself and to never take your love for granted. And I promise to always be faithful to you as long as we're together. Ellie, is there anything you would like to say to Kirk? Yeah. I promise to be there for you whenever you need me. I promise to never try to change you into something that you aren't. I promise to be as honest with you about my feelings as I can. And I promise to be faithful to you for as long as we're together. For better, for worse? In sickness and in health. Is there a ring? There is. Oh, a ring. For richer and richer. Well, what's the matter? I can't get it off. No. <laughs> Ouch. Don't go on it. Well, it seems that this young man has eaten too many of Mabel's Red Hots. His, his thumb seems to have grown. Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> Am I in labor? You're not dilated. What about the contractions? Well, since they're irregular, I think they're the result of that fall. We're putting you on the fetal monitor, and we'll keep a close check on it for a while. Um... Next couple of hours ought to tell the story. Either the contractions will become regular and more intense, or they'll just subside altogether. Do you want me to call Andy Dixon? No, 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 no. We just worry him. Okay, it's your decision, but uh, if you start to go into labor, I think the father of the baby should no, know. No, but that right. hasn't happened yet, so let's just hold off, okay? All right, I'll hold off for the time being. Uh, I just want to make sure that you're going to stay calm. Doctor, is my baby going to be all right? We're doing everything we can to make sure that you're both going to be all right. Okay? Now, Carla will let me know if you need me. When did I ever? 
Thank you. <laughs> well, now we can resume if Kirk will take the ring and put it on his wife's finger. <laughs> yes. With this ring, I tell the whole world that this woman is mine. No. And is there another ring? No, no, you can wrap things no, up. No, hold on there, buddy. Iva. Right. Wait a minute. Well, well, I didn't and know anything this about this. Ring, I stake this man for life. Here we go. serious again? <laughs> Inasmuch as Kirk Anderson and Ellie Snyder have consented to be joined in wedlock and have witnessed the same before this company and pledged each to the other and declared the same by the joining of the hands and the exchanging of rings in accordance with the authority vested in me by the United States maritime law, I hereby pronounce them husband and wife. <laughs> uh, Ellie? You may kiss the groom. <laughs> no. What's <laughs> going on? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Dorothy, help me out here, please. <laughs> this one's just for the two of you. My baby don't care for shows My baby don't care for clothes My baby just care for me My baby don't care for furs and laces My baby don't care for high on places My baby don't care for rings Or other expensive things She's sensible as can be My baby don't care Who knows it? Baby just cares for me. That's what we were going to do. And that's what I did, but the time flew by. It's after midnight. I think we'll give her a call now. Don't be silly. You're going to wake her up. <laughs> okay. Attention, everybody. <laughs> Ellie and I are going to split. <clears throat> now, um, the party's by no means over. We own the joint, so there's no cutoff time. Stay and party all night if you want. All right? Uh, all right. Um, we thank you all for coming. Some of you have come from a long way, and we really appreciate it. And we thank you for your donations to your favorite charity. Now, if I could get some help with this float, I'd appreciate it. Snyder, men, one more time, please, for me and Ellie. Gentlemen. Okay, that's great. Now, we're going out to the parking lot next to that white limo that's We love you. We'll okay. see you after the honeymoon. Let's go. Take care of this. Where's Lily? Oh, there she is. All right. Ready? <laughs> he sets. He looks. He fires. <laughs> All right, fellas. Let's hit it. Give us some traveling music. is perfect and there's no question about it the father is caleb snyder are you sure you must be the proud father congratulations i'll leave the two of you alone with your new son it's yours if you and angel want to take it and raise it i'll understand i just want you to be happy caleb i know that angel can't have kids but you can still have your son what are you talking about? Don't you know that all I've ever wanted was to take care of my wife and my baby? But I'm not your wife anymore. So? We'll just get married again. But this time we won't do it in Las Vegas. We'll stand up in front of everyone 
and tell them that we will never be separated again. Don't you know that I would never take your baby away from you? Frankie did that, but I would never. Caleb, do you mean it? Of course I do. And maybe we could get Pete and Jenny and bring them back to the farm, too. Have you thought of a name for the baby? No. But I was thinking I'd like to name it after Andy, because he's been so good to me. You can name him anything you want. As long as I know the baby's mine, and you'll marry me, and we'll be a family. I love you so much, Caleb. Miss Shay. Miss Shay. Sorry to wake you, but I have to take your blood pressure again. Is my baby going to be okay? I'm sure Dr. Hobson will come back soon and answer any questions you have.